What's up guys? So today I am going to be these right here, which this one looks pretty good. Uh, it's got, let's see. You can probably see it's got a few. I uh, just got, I don't know, it's got like some, it looks like it's like little rust, little spots in the mesh uh, speaker covers. And I don't know if it's that or if it's just somebody just has spilled stuff. I don't know, but they're just real dirty looking. So what, uh, what I'm going to be doing today is, is I've got this. It's a vinyl and fabric. It's a, uh, just a charcoal gray. I'm just going to see, I'm going to see if it kind of somewhat just kind of match possibly the color of the interior. If it will, sweet. If it won't, I can buy new replacement ones, but instead of just right off the bat buying new replacement screens and uh, the little mesh covers, I figured I would just try to see if I could just do a little do-it-yourself touch up on them, give, give them to look a lot better and just go from there. Let me show you this back one here. This back one's even worse. One. See, that's I'm pretty convinced it's uh it's like some it's like a rust or something. I'm not again I'm not a hundred percent sure, but this is definitely not okay. This is uh definitely gotta be replaced. So I'm just thinking if I just if I can just resurface them uh with some paint that are just kind of match. I don't cause see, I mean you can kinda you can kinda well it's hard to tell in this lighting. These really aren't even the same color. This is more of a lighter color than uh, my actual door panels. So it's not like these 100% match anyways right off the bat. So if I can, if the paint I have will make this look good with this, I'm just gonna do all four uh, in the truck. That way they'll all be the same shade and they'll all match. Seven millimeter bolt right here on your where your unlock little section is. Got the seven millimeter bolt right here by your by your armrest. You got another seven millimeter bolt. And then down here on the bottom, you got one more little seven millimeter screw. Besides your torque, uh, your little T20 torque barrier, 
all these are uh, all the bolts in the panel that hold it on are seven millimeter. All right, you can get my torque bit. Take this off. You've got on the top, the top two, they just pretty much the pop in and pop out ones. And then you have, you can sit right there. Don't try to like twist this or bend this. You'll break this off. It just raises up out. Connecting uh, all your wire uh, wire assemblies pretty much from your front door panel and I'll start right here this is like your uh, your door light um, it's just got a little simple hookup it just uh, I mean it literally just plugs in place I mean it's no nothing crazy nothing fancy about it um, now on up here I have the heated seats that's what this is this is your heated uh, seat module your controller and it comes in and hooks in down here to the bottom. Uh, and this would be like your window controls and everything. And you can, you do not have, some guys I've seen take this out. You do not have to take this out because I mean, you can still get the panel out with this all still in place and hooked in. Um, now here, this, all these, uh, and I've got a before picture, so I know how all these are supposed to hook up. But to show you how this disconnects here, um, this actually, it's not gonna let me do it now because it's out, but this here is actually over here whenever you go to unhook this. Well, it's got this little push-up tab right here. When you push this tab up, the gray part flips over to this side and then you're just able to just pull, it just falls right out. And then these are all your standard just you push the little tab in uh, right there and they just pop out. So that's how all all three of these here would disconnect. So that's just, I know a lot of these wires, it can get real confusing and kind of look like a headache, but it's really not that bad at all. And now the door panel is completely free and I can get what I'm trying to get to to work on. Hey guys, so I got them all ready. I'm gonna have to go get some uh, tape so I can cover up my Bose uh, emblem, but just gonna kind of give a little before I uh, just these three here aren't that bad I mean it's just real dirty looking uh, look like they got like some soda stains on them and like I said this is the worst one here but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go get go get some tape to cover up my bows uh, in them and then we'll get ready to start start uh, re redoing these
Well, guys, we got them in. Look at how clean and fresh them look. I mean, a quick, maybe hour, do it yourself. Pop the door panels off, pull the screens out, paint them with paint dry, pop them back in. And look, I mean, brand new looking. I mean, save that money on stuff like this from buying new ones. It's a quick do it yourself. Save that money, put it in something else. Put it in another part on the truck. I mean, for an amateur, I think it turned out pretty good. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment, let, let me know what you think about it. Got any questions, ask them. I'll try to get to them, try to answer them. Uh, but other than that, you guys have a good week. I'll see you in the next one.